Hello everyone, I have one interesting gaming topic to cover that you should check out today if you're interested, and then some thrift store finds from this morning. So last year, Final Fantasy 7 and 9 were ported to the Nintendo Switch, and Final Fantasy 8 was ported with a remaster to the Nintendo Switch. And at first they were digital only, and they still are digital only in most regions. But thankfully, an Asian region physical release with full English support, region free release, was finally released. A twin pack, the Final Fantasy VIII Remaster with just the regular Final Fantasy VII, all on one cartridge, which for me this was an immediate purchase, an immediate pre order. Had to get that, a physical copy of those on the Switch. Spectacular. But there's one glaring omission. You know, it's great to get Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, that's what I really wanted. Getting Final Fantasy VII in there is just a bonus, that's really cool. But they were missing the other part to the PS1 era Final Fantasy trilogy, which I think is the best era of Final Fantasy. And the one they're missing is also the one I consider to be the best Final Fantasy, one of my favorite games ever, Final Fantasy IX. And it, I you know, have it downloaded on the Switch, the only downloaded game that we own, period, on anything. Uh, just because while we were staying at Amanda's parents' house for an extended period of time, I had the Switch with me, and I downloaded that because it was out and replayed Final Fantasy IX. Absolutely love that game. One of my favorites ever. Well, thankfully, it was announced recently, and pre-orders just went up last night in, in my time uh, on Play on uh, Play Asia. The physical release, a similar release, an Asian region release, but region-free, with, with uh, English support and lots of other different subtitle supports, of Final Fantasy IX, a physical Switch copy of Final Fantasy IX is going to be available and there's not at the time of filming this a specific release date, they're just saying this winter, which could mean the very end of this year, beginning of next year, somewhere in that time frame, but pre-orders are up. I went ahead and pre-ordered mine uh, just a couple minutes ago, so if you're interested, go and check that out and make sure you pre-order it because it's one of those things that you never really know how many copies are going to be available after pre-orders because it's one only being physically released in one region otherwise you have to get it online um, have it shipped to you but really really cool very excited that that is getting a switch release the cover is a little weird uh, not 100% if that's going to be if that's finalized or not sometimes those change over time or reversible or whatever but so far that the the covers yeah okay but whatever physical copy of Final Fantasy 9 on the switch now for this morning's thrift store finds. Uh, yeah, it was still a little threadbare. I don't know, maybe I might not go back again this week, we'll see. Because uh, it's just every time I've been last week and now again beginning of this week, it's been a, a little bare. It really just hasn't had quite the uh, amount of stuff that it was having for a long time. It's kind of drying out a little bit and that happens every once in a while. I go through those phases and then it picks back up again. So we'll see what's going on. But I did find a few things, you know, all, all stuff for the store. I didn't find anything for us today. But I uh, found a couple of movies on DVD, all in excellent condition. I used, but the discs are pristine. There's no wear on the covers. There's no wear on the spines or anything. So, all right, for, you know, some of these are 10 cents by weight. Some might be like 15 to 20 cents at most for weight. You know, Dragon Slayer, widescreen, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, the Sterling Millennium series presentation of Legionnaire. Two VHS tapes. 90s era X-Men, a couple of Game Boy Advance manuals, which yeah, it's worth picking up because they barely register on the scale, and uh, some, you know people are looking for to include complete versions of the, in their collection. A lot of times they piecemeal. You find the game, maybe you find the box down the road, you find the manual separately. So worth grabbing these for next to no weight. One manga randomly, uh, Rebirth Volume 12. And a couple of books, uh, Alice Hoffman's The Museum of Extraordinary Things, paperback, and then two Alice Hoffman hardcover editions. We have The Museum of Extraordinary Things and The Red Garden. So that was it. Went into the main room right as they opened. Literally nothing had moved since I was there last week. Uh, I even walked down the aisles of stuff that we don't normally resell just to see, and everything was in the same spot. Nothing had moved. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but it's been kind of dry. We'll see if it picks up. Hopefully, thankfully, it was so good for so long that we still have tons of inventory uh, to you know 
take us through any kind of dry spells, no, no problem there. But yeah, okay, and that Final Fantasy IX news is spectacular. I'm very, very excited, and we're going to have some more gaming-related stuff coming your way pretty soon. We actually picked up a bunch of PS4 games, Amanda ordered a whole bunch, and we've been playing a lot of shorter games, indie games, that type of thing, uh, which we've been really kind of moving towards frequently because we don't always have a lot of time to sit and play 30, 40, 50 plus hour RPGs constantly. So occasionally I try to get those in there, but play a, to play you know more games more frequently, I've been playing a lot of shorter things. Uh, and if you missed it, over the weekend I did release a Charmed collection and series review, so make sure you check that out. And I also have a question and answer video up where I'm asking you to Ask me any questions, whatever you want, and I'll be putting up an answer video. And so far, I've been getting a really great response, actually better than I was expecting already. Uh, lots of really good questions, so thank you very much to everyone who's been participating so far. If you hadn't had a chance or didn't see that video, make sure you check it out. I will be taking all those questions then and filming sometime towards the end of this week and releasing an answer video this weekend. So again, thank you. Make sure you check those out, and I will be seeing you again.